Welcome to Cake Members video tutorial. Today, I will be guiding you through all the various functions and features of the web portal for the provider, parent, and staff. To learn how to grant yourself or others access to the Cake portal, please watch our grant access to the web portal and cake to go video tutorial. For this first segment, I will be covering the web portal for the provider. The provider will have unlimited access to the children, family, and staff information and account balances. The provider will be able to set kiosk functions and send out mass emails or SMS alerts right from the web portal. Let's go ahead and log into the web portal. Starting off on our home page, you will notice the web portal button here to the top right. Let's go ahead and click on it. Enter in your email address and password that you use to set up the web portal account. Then log in. As you can see here, this is your title for the facility. If you own multiple facilities, all of their information can be summed up here. If you click on user settings, you can change your password here and under the login information you can choose whether or not you want to have access to the web portal or kick to go Now let's go back to the web portal login and continue. As you can see, my name and picture is here and the logout button is located right next to it. We are now currently under the home tab where you can quickly view the children, family and staff profiles. You can sort each section by gender, roles, or alphabetically. If you click on any one of these profiles, you will open up their online profile where you will have access to all of their information. On the right column are helpful tools that will better assist you with your task management. For example, our calendar here will keep track of birthdays, immunization expiration dates, license renewals, and much, much more. We also have daily report logs and an analysis grab, which we will cover in depth later on. Finances will show you all of the balances of the family accounts you have on file, and if you click on it, it will give you a detailed summary of their account, but we will go into that later. And you can also sort it however you want. Lastly is the communication tool where you can send out SMS, text messages, or emails. The next tab over is the Cake Live tab. This tab is also accessible through your Cake Desktop facility under the Cake Members tab, as shown here. The Cake Live tab is very unique as a tool and will give you a true bird's eye view of your facility. Cake Live keeps track of who is currently clocked in and to which class. You can also choose to view in class mode to have a different perspective. The class ratio is always displayed and the refresh button is here at the top. Cake Live will automatically update every 30 seconds. So if Robert's parents came in to pick them up at my facility and clock them out with the in and out kiosk, the kiosk will send the updated information to the web portal, and as you can see, without clicking the refresh button even, Robert has disappeared. Now let's move on to the account tab. The account tab here will display all of the families along with their account balances. By clicking on the drop down, you'll see the payer of the account and the children they are financially responsible for. For an in-depth summary, you can click on the view button here, and as you can see, the account statement is shown. Just select the date by using the calendar and then filter. You can also export the account statement to an Excel spreadsheet or as a PDF file. We also have enrollment form information of the child, early and late drop off fees, and the hours of care. In many aspects, the family, students, and staff tabs are very similar. Here we have sections split by the contact's name. If you click on the filter drop down, you can further specify your search. By clicking on the email itself or SMS button here, it will send you to the communication tab where you can send out mass emails or text messages. Clicking on the name of either parents or child will open up their online profiles as shown here. Under a family member's profile, you can view the relationship that they have with the child, pick up history, and financial account. The students tab is very similar to the families tab in that the layout and filter is the same. Selecting their child's name will open up their online profile as shown here. You can view their child's info, siblings, and family members, and authorized persons, whether they are parents or in the pickup or emergency contact list. The attendance record will show the child's attendance to your facility. Just click on the calendar icon to set the dates and filter. The payment history will also show the account balances associated with the child's account and daily reports are updates that are inputted by the staff member using the class kiosk. We will cover this in more detail later. Let's move on to the staff tab. Once again, we have our filter and alphabetical sections. Just like our other tabs, 
Clicking on the email itself or SMS button will send you to our communication tab where you can send out mass emails or text messages to your staff. Clicking on a staff's name will open up their online profile where you can view their information, attendance records, and work schedule. Next we have the reports tab where we have daily reports where all the class chaos information is gathered and organized. This tab is also accessible through your Cake Desktop facility under the Cake Members tab as shown here. Right now all of my staff members and students are selected. I can filter them out alphabetically by age or class and then clicking the filter button. Here is the staffs who are able to file the daily reports. You can filter them out to view the staff's report for that day. So as you can see here, Jennifer posted all of these daily updates for these preschool children here. You can view daily reports for specific children or sets of children by clicking on their box and then clicking the filter button. You can also adjust the dates here so you can view reports from the past. Another way to filter out the daily reports is using the activity filter here. Just click on what you want to see and uncheck what you do not. Most of these filters have a sub-filter. As you can see here, there's a wide variety to choose from and the options are limitless. Next on the reports is the analysis graph. This is a great tool to help give you an assessment on peak times when parents come in to drop off their children. Why would this be useful? Well, you can optimize your staff's hours by using this graph to make sure you are never under or too above your child's staff ratio. So just select the date range. Uh, let's do one week in September and check child and hours and click filter. And as you can see, the graph will display of when the child come in the most and when they leave during the span of one week. So according to this graph, half of my active children will be here by roughly 740. So all of my staff should be signed in by that time. And all the kids start going home around 4 so I can start cutting my employees then. Filtering with the staff and guardian hours will yield the same thing. Now if we choose child and daily and set the date range over several months, let's put 6 months. You will be able to see the trend of your facility's population. As you can see here on Friday, May 23rd, I have 23 children signed in at max for that day. Let's skip to August 15 where I have 24 children signed in at one time. And now around December I have 9 children signed in at max. As you can see the trend is that my facility's population is decreasing. This information is very useful and very handy. This is also the same for the staff and guardians. The communication tab is where you can send out mass emails and SMS text messages. Just simply check the names you would like to add to the sender's box. Type in your message and send. It's that easy. This tab is also accessible through your Cake Desktop facility under the Cake Members tab as shown here. Under more we have the kiosk welcome message where I can post announcements or reminders in this box and it will appear on the in and out kiosk for parents to see when they sign in or out their child. This tab is also accessible through your Cake Desktop facility under the Cake Members tab as shown here. And lastly, inactive is all of the children, family, and staff members profile who are no longer active within the facility. This concludes our guide to the web portal for the provider. Let's take a look at the staff's and parents' point of view. Now we will sign into the web portal this time as a family member. Let's go ahead and click OK. Just like a provider, family members can change their passwords here or adjust the settings. Let's continue. Here the family members will be able to see their children's information, spouses and other authorized persons contact information. Up here you can view current balances of the account and a calendar with upcoming birthdays and reminders. The family members can view their child's attendance record. Simply select a child, select the range of a date and click filter. And as you can see the information is neatly displayed here. Next is the accounts tab where if you are signed up to Cake Easy Pay, parents can pay for their family accounts here. Reports is where parents can view their daily reports submitted by your staff. And lastly, communication is where the family members can contact the provider via email without having to give away your personal phone number or email address. This concludes the web portal for parents. Now let's go ahead and sign in as Katie Young, a staff member. Your staff will only be able to view their own profile. Once again, staff members can change their password here or adjust settings. Let's continue on. As you can see, Katie can view all of her profile information 
and this pretty much concludes the staff's end of the web portal. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please contact our support team, and they will respond within 24 business hours. We would like to thank you for watching this video tutorial, and we hope this video helps. Cake, it's not about what we do, it's about what you don't have to.